Hello, welcome to question two. So question two says use PISA from the preliminary material. And I have to say, you have absolutely got to know this stuff before you go into the exam. So for this year, make sure that you've gone through the preliminary material over and over again. It will save you so much time. Remember, we don't have that long in the exam for paper 2B. We've got an hour and a half. That's 90 minutes uh, for 60 marks. So you don't want to be wasting your time going through all of this. Um, our first question says, suggest three improvements that could be made to the article in the preliminary material, including the graph. I love to hit these graphs early on. Uh, they are some of the, the, the bits that I think, yeah, I can really work on this as a mathematician. Um, some of the things that, that really stand out, I mean, here we got, um, and I need, I need to swap over. I'm not going to write this on the answer line, but I'm going to say here, um, we need to add, add like a, a units and labeling here. So units and labeling. So we look at this. I, mean, I know that we can assume that that is the uh, years, but you have to be very careful with that. And then, of course, here, there's nothing here to say what this actually represents. This UK average PISA rating. Who, who knows what that means? Um, second of all, uh, let me look. Start with the vertical axis. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the same point. Okay, great. I made a little note on this before I started it. So this one we've got is starting at 490, 495, 500. Let me look at the next one. Starts at 480. You can see that this is going up in fives. And this one's going up in tens. So ideally, we need to use the same axes, use the same axes and progress by the same amount. And that's going to be either like five or ten. Make your mind up. OK, and then another one that I think is really important. So that's two. I've given you two, um, maybe give you three. In here. Now, if somebody's sitting this somewhere that's not in the UK, or actually some people may not know what that means. We do a lot of work on um, taxes. We do a lot of work on national insurance. People see NI as national insurance. Be like, what is NI? Well, NI stands for Northern Ireland, and nowhere in the document do they make a mention that that is North. Well, they do, <laughs> but here, down here, but they haven't put that in brackets. They haven't said NI in brackets. So it's really important that we've got that there. I mean, I'll just check through, scan through, can't see it. Okay, right, so a couple of other things that I'd like to see in here is for them to use grid lines to make it easier to read. So grid lines, easier to read. Um, and then finally, what was the last thing I'd put down there? Oh, you have the average. So have the UK average. So have the UK average for comparison. UK average for comparison. But basically, for this bit, you just have to be harsh. You just have to be super harsh and like as if you're a teacher trying to find out how your pet student might need to improve because you're under pressure to show that they have made, they need to make progress. So that is really important. You just pick stuff out, write it down. You never know what the mark scheme is going to say. So make sure that you are working on that carefully. OK, so um, let's go back to this uh, part B. A research assistant is comparing the UK average science scores with the overall OECD um, average score for science. She wants to find out how many percent higher the UK averages than the overall average. So here's our calculation. 509 take 493 equals 16. 16 divided by 509, and then it's 0.0314% higher. Well, critically analyze her calculation. Basically, correct this person's calculations. So this bit here is fine. It's gone from 493 up to 509, so that's fine. This bit here is where we have the problem. So when we're comparing that percentage change, we actually need to divide by the original amount. So that's going to be 16 divided by 493. So uh, incorrect, incorrect divisor, divisor, uh, 493 to be used instead of 509. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background, but hopefully that will make it more of an entertaining listen. Um, and then in here, look, we need to then um, multiply by 100 to convert the decimal to a percentage. Decimal to a percentage. Okay, so that's probably one mark or two marks. We've got two things there that we need to improve on. Now we need to actually correct that calculation. So we're going to do 16 divided by 493. Calculate out 16 divided by 493. That is 0 0.03245436105. And then we times it by 100. I'm going to round that as well. So it's going to give us 3.25% change. 
to three significant figures. So that's the calculation that has been made. And I feel happy with that. That's good. Okay, so next bit, question 2C. The following comments were made on social media after the 2015 results were published. So for PISA, maths in 2015, the range of average scores for the, for the, for the four UK nations is above 10. So it's going to be big, take away little. And then we've got if Scotland's percentage decline in reading score from 2012 to 2015 is repeated in the next PISA test, the score will drop below 485. So we will investigate that as well. Our first bit is to check if Simon is correct. So it's PISA maths and we're looking for the range in 2015, right? So this is science, it's no good to me. Uh, reading, maths, here we go. So it's the range. So, and this is where it's very difficult to read this. Um, so halfway is about here. So I reckon the top score there is 493. Our bottom score, roughly 478. So 493, 478. 493, take away 478. I'm going to double check that. You can, you can just scroll in your 493, 478. You can just have a look at yours in the exam. So 493, take away 478. I am using the calculator. We don't take risks here. That's 15. So, yes, Simon is correct. And we've used the graph, which is brilliant. Okay. Rukshana. Okay. Percentage decrease for Scotland reading. So, Scotland reading 2012 to 2015. So, here we go. Reading. Scotland is this dotted line. It's gone from here down to here oh my how am i reading this they've not even got that top band that is unbelievable okay uh this could be an, you can if you discover something like this don't feel free to go back to that improvements bit and add it in um include 510 on the reading so that we can read the scottish and in theory the english value as well um uh, what do i do i'm gonna say it's 506 we'll go 506 and then it's dropped down to what looks like about 493. So 506, 493. So 506 take away 493 is going to be divided by the original value, which is 506. And that's going to give me 506 take 493 divided by 506. And that is, okay, I'm going to round this times of 100. Don't forget times by 100. Put that in there. Uh, Two point five seven percent. Okay, so we're at four nine three, and we want this percentage to drop down below. So I'm going to times by one minus the zero point zero two five seven that I've just calculated. It's not going to be super accurate because we've rounded it now. Shouldn't really round it. Actually, to do this calculation, I've still got the answer on my calculator. So four nine seven times by, and in here I'm going to use the answer key. So open the bracket one minus the answer, close bracket, and that's not right, is it? What's happened there? Like negative. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this all again. 506 take away 493. I think it's because I times it. Yeah. Oh my god, I times it by a hundred. Right. There's my value. That's fine. Okay, so 497 times by... I wish you could see my calculator. I should do it on an emulator so you can critically analyze my performance. All right, and then we've got 484.23. So that's what it should do if we have a consistent decline. And she's saying below 485. So Rukshana is correct. Rukshana is correct. The score, and I'm adding context here, will drop to... Approximately, I'm going to use that word, get myself out of jail for anyone that's uh, the accuracy police. Approximately 484. And there we go. We're happy with that. That's good. All right, that's question two done. Please do uh, join me again for question three. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, spread the word, and I'll see you at question three.